we're given that 2,071 is a two pseudo prime. So we know this was true. But is it a strong pseudo prime? Well, that means we had to look how many, we had to take out all the factors of two we can in this exponent. Well, you can see this is this by two, but it's not divisible by eight. So this is two to the two, now you divide it by four, 675. And now, they were nice to us, 2 to the 65 to tell us the content of minus 364 mod 2701. Aha! So now let's look at the next power. 2 to the 1300. So note that this is 2 to the 675 squared. So this is square of 364 squared. And now for this calculation, best to use one of the electronic machines. And we get that this is 147 mod 2,701. Oh, well, but now let's square this one more time. Then you know that, oh, now I'm losing my, you know that one, which is that one, is 2 to the 2,700. I made a little mistake here. This is, this is a 50 here. 1350 is not that, which is 2 to 1350 squared with 147 squared mod. And now you realize wait a moment, 1 is equal to the square of 147 mod this thing. You realize, aha. That's a strange square root of 1. Hence, you know at this point that 2,071 is not a strong 2 pseudo prime. Ah, but still, we can use this information to factor here. So, 147 squared minus 1, you know that. 2,071 divides now 1 over 7 minus 1 times 148. So now to do the calculation, we can compute the greatest common divisor between 2,701. And now we have to just pick one of these. Well, you can pick 148. When you look at this thing, here you see there's no factor of 2. This number is equal by 4. So we can take out the 4s here. So this is the GCD of 2,071 and 148 divided by 4. That's 37. And now you know that 37 is prime. and all of this number cannot divide into 146. Hence, you know that 2,071 has to have some common factor between here, and that common factor is 37. And now it's easy, easy to see. Okay, now you can use do division, long division, and you see that 37 goes in here times 73, and there's the factorization. So by failing the strong pseudo prime test, by passing the pseudo prime test, we actually get the factorization of this number. Isn't that cute?